going to show you today um, a ukulele I've just had made um, by a company called Tin Guitar, uh, Rob Collins of Tin Guitar up north, and he's made me this. So you may have seen for a long time I've been using this thing. Uh, this is really nice, and a Nui Nui uh, Tulele 2 concert, uh, which has served me well. And on the face of it, they're pretty similar. Um, but there are some key differences, apart from the inane quality, uh, this really scores a lot higher. So, um, getting a ukulele made, it's quite a leap of faith because you're getting something made to your own specification, custom made. Um, this particular one has, I hope I get the names of the wood right, um, a utile body and neck. Uh, I think that's a African wood. Um, I think a bit similar to mahogany, uh, maybe a bit bit lighter, and the grains a bit more subtle. And um, a London plain uh, top on here, which has got this amazing uh, pattern finish on it. Uh, Grenadilla fretboard. Um, and then nicely dressed frets, uh, mother of pearl fret dots, fret dots on the top, gold finishings, and um, strap buttons, all that fitted, and a pickup. So this is a chambered solid body uh, concert ukulele with a cutaway. And uh, having it finished in gloss on the top, <clears throat> as opposed to this one, which is a satin finish. Um, I, I strum quite heavily and I can take lumps out of the wood on the uh, on the sort of lower part of the, the body. So having the having the gloss finished, gloss lacquered body is a good idea for me. Uh, it's semi-gloss on the rest of it. Uh, the neck has just got quite a nice feel. So What's different? Well, this one, you'll notice, uh, the Anui Nui has got a couple of knobs, one for volume and one for tone, and a battery in the back. Now, I don't like batteries at the best of times. I did my apprenticeship, uh, I did my engineering apprenticeship in a battery company. So, I'm always nervous of uh, battery running out just when you want to use it. Obviously, leaving it plugged in will run your battery flat. So this is completely passive. Um, it's just a pickup connected directly to the jack socket. No fancy stuff inside at all. So simplicity is the name of the game here. Um, what that does mean though is you either need a sensitive mixing desk or not a lot, not too long a lead going to uh, the mixing desk or a preamp. I use this Zoom G14 pedal basically as a preamp, so it will take the ukulele input and amplify it suitable to go straight into a mixer. Um, <clears throat> the other thing with this is it can also add effects, so now you are in control of things, not necessarily the guy at the mixing desk, but um, you've got much more control. It means there's nothing to go wrong, uh, so that's a, a great plus in my mind. So just a bit more on the setup, uh, beautifully set up, the action works really well, I can bar chords really nicely. It's fitted with uh, I think Aquila strings. I haven't felt the need to change these because the action is working so well. I may change them for the black nylon strings that I like but that's a personal preference. Um, it's obviously the same as any other ukulele to change. So what does it sound like? Well, um, like that. Not uh, not very loud, obviously. It needs plugging in. So, as I said, the great thing um, is you can leave it plugged in, and it's not going to run the battery flat. But if I plug into my Zoom adapter, plug that into my mixer. So I plug into my zoom adapter and I've got all the effects now um, 
on hand. The other thing, incidentally, this Zoom has, which is quite nice, is uh, is a rhythm pedal. So you can add rhythms in if you want. Uh, anyway, enough of that. So I can basically select my different uh, pedals and effects just straight through straight through as you'd expect uh, just sounds like normal ukulele but if I add in the pedal effects uh, for example I can add in a whole reverb effect you can hear all that stuff being added in um, there's other effects available can have what you like really so we've got a uh, which is this one this is the phaser and the one that I really like is the auto wire and there's loads of other things you've got fuzz and all sorts of um, effects I'll cover that in another video another time but uh, there you have it, the Rob Collins concert uh, solid body chambered ukulele. I don't know what it's called really, um, but uh, you can call it what you like, I guess. Custom made. You can contact Rob. He makes normal ukuleles as well, um, so your your traditional uke, all sizes, um, electro, everything. I mean, it's recommended. I would recommend it if you want. If you can't find something that really suits you get something that suits you made it's an investment that um, will just pay off this is this is now really going to become my standard ukulele for using in the studio um, and I've already used it on open mics a couple of times and it's perfect so uh, there you go Rob Collins tin guitar give him a call.